Rob Longley with Terry Cochan at the Air Canada Center. Where Terry, we saw the worst li uh, loss by far of the season for the Leafs. A 7 nothing drubbing by the, the Los Angeles Kings. A pretty good, heavy playing Western Conference team. And I think it was a, only a matter of time before the speedy Leafs, speedy skilled Leafs, ran up to a team like that and really would have to battle for a win. And I think we saw a men versus boys kind of effort. Yeah, kind of. What, how did Mike Babcock put it after? Uh, they had their one expected. He did. And, uh, you know, uh, really not nothing going well for the Leafs tonight. A lot of line shuffling, 19 shots on goal, Robert DeLoa, since the game last year against the Canadians, I think. And the Kings experience came through. It's all there is to it. That smothering game, uh, giving the Leafs absolutely no room out there, opportunistic on the chances they had. And although, you know, Frederick Anderson came out, I think, after four goals, I think at that point the Leafs had eight shots on goals. So yeah. all, all the way through, it was a, uh, it was a full team uh, bad effort. Yeah, and it was a smothering effort by the Kings, the kind of effort that, frankly, won them two Stanley yep. Cups. And again, the Maple Leafs were going to run up against a heavy defensive team like this, and it was going to be interesting to see how they responded to it. And now, going forward, how will they respond yeah. to it? I think it's, for Babcock, everything this season, as it was last season, is a teachable moment. It's two days of practice, and he's going to basically show these guys what went wrong and how they have to be tougher on the puck to be able to compete against a team like the Kings. Yeah, you know what, Rob? I think you say two, two days of practice now before the Flyers came in Friday night. And we're not going to see the same sort of effort from the Leafs on now on Friday. I know the Flyers are a different team than the Kings, obviously, but... Very rarely do you see these types of things happen in back-to-back -back, uh, uh, games coached by this time. And that's pretty much it for us here today. Again, the Leafs snapped their three-game winning streak in the worst way possible, a 7-0 loss to the Los Angeles Kings. For Terry Koshan, I'm Rob Longley for Post Media.